Hey guys, Dabu7. want to talk about some of the mysterious weather patterns that we've been seeing across the globe. We've seen a lot of uncalled for weather patterns that are out of the norm. And these days, people say, well, what is the norm? You hear all this talk about climate change and all the talk that they want to push for their global agendas. But at the end of the day, we know they have the technology and the means to affect this stuff. Time and time again, we've shown that a lot of this isn't conspiracy theory. It is real. Even when it comes down to chemtrails, we have, within the past year, shown from a scientist's mouth, calling them by name a chemtrail, that they are very real, containing lithium. The cloud seeding goes back decades. The weather manipulation is not a secret. The harp and all this that we've been talking about is known by many at this point. So what are they doing with it? Are they doing anything positive with it? Are, are we hearing any talks coming out of NASA or any of these other agencies of doing something positive? Have we ever? No. They keep their mouths shut and all of a sudden we see these crazy weather patterns. We see areas that are drought stricken. We see other areas getting hit with floods, massive rains, crazy weather. And they always want to blame it on this El Nino pattern, what they dub Godzilla, as you can see right here. Now, what most people may not understand, and I've seen your everyday weatherman try to explain this many different times in regards to what the El Nino is. And they show a different way every time, but they never show the specifics like this. That this El Nino pattern is caused by something that sits in one area. It doesn't move around the globe. It may affect everything that moves around it around the globe. This thing sits in one spot where you see it right now. And it's very interesting that it does this. This line has been created of warm water all the way through here, coming right off the coast here. And it's not like it's anything new. Check this out. That's a shot of it right there. A satellite image from October of 2015 showing how it is affecting now not only the weather patterns that we were seeing but it's spawned off to the north of it the area that they're dubbing the blob right here now since then another area has popped up the son of blob i mean these are the names they're giving these patterns out here and this blob is this huge mass of warmed ocean waters. This is about five degrees Fahrenheit above normal that is lurking in the Pacific Ocean. And many people want to tie in the effects of Fukushima that could have helped create this and a lot of other things here. But it stretches across this whole area and it is 60 foot deep. That's the blob. Now all of a sudden out of nowhere this new spot, and I've talked about this in other other videos has showed up off the southern coast of California and they've seen all the dead sea lions all the dead sea crabs the algae booms that have been popping up because of this and this is affecting a lot so when it comes to the weather pattern I want people to be well aware of what's going on here when you hear talk of El Nino and you think that it's all the way around the globe because look this is November 1997 and this is July 2015 you see that the intensity seems to have broke off a little bit from this area and given rise to what was the blob and since then it's moved over here a little bit and the son of blob has risen in this area But can't you see? It's emanating and coming off of a line right here. Off the coast here in South America. All this warm energy, this whole line that cuts across here. This is what is causing all this. It's not like it's going around the planet. It's right here. 
So I just want to make people well aware of what it is. And as you can see here, this breaks down the El Nino phenomenon and how it normally goes down in a normal year. You'll see the pattern here with the cold water coming up against the coast of Peru here. And the equatorial winds gather warm water and they let it pool in this area. That's a normal pattern. Therefore, in winter, we see all this dip down and we have a cold winter. What this is doing here now, they're saying, is it's causing these easterly winds that were pushing this way to die off and this warm water is now moving east. And it's causing for this area to be warmer as well as all of this up here. And we're seeing that with winter not being winter like most people had expected, wanting to see snow on Christmas or something like that. If there has been snow, it's been in the mountainous areas and it's just been gargantuous amounts. That all this is feeding into an unnatural cycle that causes landslides, flooding, and at this rate, if we're in this cycle, it's going to continue. So I would expect this spring to be a very wild one. And when it comes to the system, we're just going to have to keep an eye on it. But hopefully people know now that this is the area that seems to be feeding all of this. And we're not dealing with just El Nino now. We're dealing with these two other areas that they've dubbed the Blob and the Son of Blob that is affecting all this as well. And how much of this has been engineered? We're going to have to talk about that more and break that down more from here. I'll leave a link. It's been W7. Peace.